Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Kerbal Space Program with Durka13, and this is episode 5. In the last episode, we launched Jebediah into orbit. It was a beautiful orbit. He was up there for a couple of minutes, did some science, decided to come back down because he missed his family. On his way down, uh, we were under a thousand meters off the surface of the planet, and the game crashed. So, there's that. It was about 12 minutes in. Um, kind of me talking to myself for a minute. I edited most of it out, so we should be good. Um, but yeah, let's do a fresh start now, and we're going to do our first satellite launch. Quick rundown of the rocket, well, the satellite itself. This is going to be our actual satellite. Uh, we have a contract down here to do a low-res scan of Kerbin, which is this right here. Otherwise, we have orbital telescope, we have an antenna, we have a couple of batteries, so we should be good. We also have solar panels to recharge our batteries. And then this is our rocket to actually get us into orbit. So I think we're good. Uh, we are at our 30 part count, so I think very soon we are going to have to upgrade the vehicle assembly building. It's pretty expensive. But until then, let's launch our satellite. Now, when it comes to scanning a planet, we can't just go into a normal equatorial, uh, equatorial orbit. Sorry, If we do a normal equatorial orbit, we'll be orbiting along the equator, and we're only going to get stuff along the equator. So we wouldn't fulfill the 75% of the planet scan. If we go into a polar orbit, and we're going this way, and orbiting this way along the poles, the planet also rotates under us, which means eventually we would scan the whole planet. So that's what we're going to do. It's going to be a little different, but we should be good here. We're going to tell MacJab to kill rotation. We are going to turn our throttle all the way up here. And let's go ahead and launch. At about 100 meters a second, we're going to tip towards the north. tip towards the north about 10 degrees there it is do, do, do. our fighting we are fighting some aerodynamic forces here because uh, our rocket sciency bits aren't hidden that kind of sucks a little bit. Oh man, we already have an apoapsis. It's almost 40,000. Let's uh, tip over a little more here, shall we? About to lose the SRBs. There they go. Let's drop them. We'll also stage this way. And we are going to shoot about for about a 250,000 kilometer orbit here. We'll just start evening out even more towards the poles. As soon as we hit 250 for our apoapsis, I will cut the engines. There it is. Not the most fuel efficient orbit, but we'll get there. We can do a orbital telescope observation, which is awesome because now we can transmit this back to the surface. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll transmit it. Down here you're gonna see or up here you're gonna see the uploading data. And it is draining our battery, but we do have plenty of battery power in here, so we are good. And that's six free science, just from our satellite floating around in orbit. Wonderful. <clears throat> Alright, let's fast forward until we get to about... No, uh, oh, we can do another satellite observation here. I don't want to... We'll call that our last one for now. Just because I don't want to kill our battery all the way. There we go. And let's fast forward until we get to about uh, 248,000. What do you guys say? start going really fast. Yeah, 245. Close enough. 
So we're going to point the rocket prograde. <clears throat> nice high orbit above the planet. Do, do, do. It's not uh, perfectly along the poles, but it is close enough for what we're doing here. All right, let's go ahead and start our burn to orbit. Actually, that was too soon even. We'll wait till uh, 258. All right, let's try now. There we go. Our apoapsis is at a standstill, which is what we're looking for. Now it's dropping. And we're climbing again. So we'll pause it a little bit. Kick it in again. We don't want to wait, raise it uh, too much here. There we go, our little baby engine now. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So we're looking at a Apo of 253 and a Perry of 242. About a 10,000 kilometer difference. Let's go ahead and change that. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward to our Apple 8. I forgot to mention that that was a pretty uh, pretty smooth orbit, I must say, especially for me. We could change our uh, inclination later, too. So let's go ahead and fast forward to our Apple Apsis, which is coming up once we hit our apo, we will easily be able to raise our parry. There we are. We'll call that good enough. And we're just going to give a, a tiny little burn here. We just want to raise it to about the same. There we go. That's close enough for me. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now we are going to have to change our inclination. Ooh, actually... I don't even think we're going to have to. I think we'll get the 75 from this. So. Let's see. Do we have anything saved up in here? No, we do not. We're about to go over some poles, though, which will give us some orbital, orbital satellite stuff. There we are. And we're also going to start our scan here. Start radar scan. It's going to shoot this awesome-looking dish out, and it's going to start scanning the planet for us. There we are. Now, this is all a mod. This is a mod called ScanSat. It just adds a little bit to the game um, where you can scan planets and see their biomes and uh, all that. This is actually a radar scan. So if we go to ScanSat here, and then we're going to open the big map. There we are. Give it a second to load up. This is our scan so far. So let's time warp a little bit. Do 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 and we'll refresh the map and we'll we'll have revealed quite a bit more. Look at that. There we go. I like it. So let's go ahead and close out of there. Let's check our contract. We have scanned three percent of the planet. Meh, whatever. Let's go down to the Space Center, and we're going to fast forward from there, because we can fast forward there a lot faster. And we are going to keep our contract here open. We'll put it nice and centered. So we've scanned 3%, and now we're just going to watch that percentage go up. 18, 48, 63, 73, 81. There we go. And we completed that uh, uh, contract. Fantastic. Close out of there. Contract complete. Excellent work. Here's 60,000 Kerbal Bucks. Thank you. I will take it. And also, let's go into ScanSat again. Look at the planet. Look at that. That's awesome. That's Kerbin. And we've scanned all that. We are missing bits and pieces here. Uh, because it wasn't a perfectly polar orbit, but it was good enough for us. Let's call these like Bermuda Triangles, Kerbin. 
those out of there. Now, I am tempted to send another one to the moon now. Tempted. It would require a little more gas, but not too much. We'll see, though. Let's see. Actually, let's uh, pick up another contract here. Let's see what we can do. Do do. Contracts. <laughs> Fly by the moon. I think that's it. I think that solidified what we're gonna do. First thing we are gonna have to do is ooh, upgrade the VAB. Hmm. It's gonna be a rough one. I think we're gonna have to upgrade the tracking station because there's no way I could do this stuff blind. And then we're also gonna have to upgrade the VAB, I believe. Let's see, I'm trying to think about this now. It takes what? Um, I wanna say it's about 800 to 900 extra delta V to get to the moon. Let's check our rocket specs here. I think we could do it with this. I think we can. Is there... Oh, you know what? I forgot to do something, though. Let's go back to our Kerpel Sap 1. There is one more little uh, treat we can do. Go over here. And let's fly our Kerbal Sap 1. Do, do, do. And we can actually turn off rotations. It doesn't matter at this point. We can analyze the data for 28 science. Look at that. Let's send it. It's a big file, but we should get it out perfectly. Use up most of our battery power, but it's okay. We're in the sun right now. There we go. It's 28 science we didn't have before. Let's go back to the Space Center, and let's spend our hard-earned science now. Doop, doop, doo. All right, so what do we want? Aviation, not really a huge deal at this point, so I'm not going to worry about it. General construction, eh, probably wouldn't hurt. What else we got though? We have 145 science. It would be nice to get that magnometer tucked away. What else though? Space exploration. Uh, some more sciencey bits. Advanced flight control. Another version of MechJeb. And some RCS stuff. Lander cam. Landing, a uh, bunch of wheels, and another heat shield, some struts. Probably wouldn't hurt. Heavy rocketry. We get some bigger engines, some even bigger uh, SRBs. Hmm. Ooh. This might be our winner, just for the external fuel duct, because these things are amazing. We also get the 800 fuel tank, which would not hurt at all. Hmm. It's done. Locked in. We're getting it. We can also get the... Thank you, Windows, for that. We can also get general construction. Which I think I'm going to do. Yeah, let's go ahead and get that, too. All right. Let's redesign the rocket a little bit here. We can uh, lower the part counts a little bit. Probably get away with launching what we have to the moon. All right, so. If we take these and replace those with the 800 tank, it's a little more fuel. There we go. 
let's go ahead and grab this and raise it up. We are still looking pretty good here. We can also move those, move those, and change this to an 800. Just to lower the part count. There we are. Put our engine back on. We can put our radial decouplers back on. There we go. Ah, that wasn't symmetrical, was it? There we are. And put our winglets back on. There we are. There we go. So now we are at 28 of 30 parts. Hmm. What else can we add on here? Did we get any more signs? We did not. I think we should just send it to the moon as is, though. Don't think it would hurt any. Our thrust awaits at 1.0 because I have this lowered. Let's go ahead and bring it up to 1.5. When we drop the SRBs, we are going to take a hit on uh, thrust to weight. Oh, that's why. I think that's it. Let's go ahead and rename it. Moon low scan one. There we are. I'm gonna save. And we upgrade the tracking station. There we are. Oh, I should have right clicked on it. My bad folks. This uh, yellow line here, this is a contract we can pick up to put a satellite in a specific orbit of Kerbin. Hmm. I think we're good. Check our contracts one last time. Fly by the moon, do a little low res scan of the moon. Both will get completed with this rocket. I like it. How much is it to upgrade you? Another 75,000. Probably wouldn't hurt. Yeah, let's do it. Alrighty. Back to the VAB. And let's get this satellite into orbit. And then from there, we will uh, fly it to the moon. In the words of Frank Sinatra. Fly me to the moon. Video is coming up on 18 minutes. Hopefully, I can squeeze this in. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's fast forward until daytime. There it is. Smartass, kill rotation for me, please and thank you. Bring the throttle up because we are lighting all three of these bottom engines at once. Must be a windy day or something. These flaps are going weird. Alrighty. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's go back to the vehicle assembly building. I don't know what we could use the spare two parts for. And it'll just help a little bit. Not We could probably get away without them, but why not? Structural. There we are. These are strut connectors. They just uh, reinforce parts in your rocket. That way these aren't going to wibble and wobble all the time now. So low moon scan is done, and I actually think the video is up to uh, 19 and a half minutes. I think I'm going to cut it here, and when we come back, we will go to the moon with our moon low scan one and complete two, two contracts with that. What do you guys think? All right, sounds good. I will see you next time, folks. Thank you for watching. This has been Let's Play Purple Space Program, episode 5 with Doker 13, and I will see you next time for episode 6.